Hey guys, Silence CL here. Welcome back to another brand new episode of Pokemon Cafe Mix. So if you guys have seen the last post that I did for the Score Bunny one, well, apparently when I uploaded that video, uh, the next event Pokemon came rolling in, which is Sobo. So here we have today, we're going to talk about um, Sobo's, you know, <laughs> addition to the game right now. Look at that. Look at that sad boy. It's just feeling all left out and alone he, he wants some happy meals to cheer him up so yes that's what we're gonna do this episode we're gonna try our best to feed our poor little blue boy you know so that he becomes a bit happier just like i guess one of pixar's animations movies hmm. <laughs> anyway guys uh we're gonna uh, we're gonna dive into the the usual stuff, you know, the party invite stages, and of course we have the regular 10 orders that we're gonna do. Then of course, um, we have to do this um, quickly, you know, because you know, the next event Pokemon is gonna be around the corner, uh, because they're gonna do all the three starters of the Gala region, you know, as a, you know, restarting, um, you know, event for the new year. Uh, especially for those brand new players, Pokemon Cafe Mix. But for us, veterinarian players, basically it's the chance to level them up. Um, and of course, you know, hopefully to gain a bit more of a duration period during the use of their skills. Not that we'll ever use them because apparently using event Pokemon as recommended Pokemon for the particular stage is kind of like a, well, a suicide <laughs> thing so all right let's start off with the invites uh, okay we can actually go with this setup but, but you know it's always nice to have someone who is like maybe lower level like Ordino here yeah that's what we want so we can pump up that level oh Stoutland is the only recommended Pokemon so that's pretty interesting so thank you guys so much for all the support with Pokemon Cafe Mix, even though there's only a handful of you guys, but I really appreciate it whenever you guys watch my content, uh, especially for very niche games just like this. So at least I'm, I'm glad that there are people out there, not just me, who enjoy Pokemon Cafe Mix, uh, you know, even though it's not on a daily basis, but you know, the game is still fun on its, on its own accord. Uh, even though if you are not a Pokemon fan, if you are a puzzle fan, this game is a pretty um, fun puzzle game uh, on its own. Uh, unlike you know some of the other puzzle games out there that can be a bit too RNG-ish. Um, looking at you, Candy. Uh, what's that game called? Candy Crush. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Candy Crush really, really relies a lot on RNG, which is horrible. Um, you know, unlike this game, this game at least there is some technique involved, you know, when it comes to clearing stages. So at least you know that your skills as a gamer isn't entirely uh, dependent on RNG mechanics. So let's push all the destructibles together. There we go. Okay, we do need to clear megaphones and of course that score factor. So let's gather um, icons. Okay, we do need quite a bit of score still, so let's gather a bit more score. We can technically use the skill to gain more score. Okay, seems like we are far from finishing. Hopefully all the bubble salt icons is more than enough to clear this score. There we go. So using up all the moves, alright, at least we cleared the stage. So that's always important. Alright, Ordino, here we go. Ooh. Items are coated in olive oil, that's not a good thing. Alright, let's get all Dino's icons going because we need that skill. Alright, let's get Executor going because there seems to be a lot of them. Uh, we do want to try and set free all the icons that are encased in olive oil as much as possible. Okay, there we go. Let's power this up. Hopefully... 
you know, we get a majority of the icons changed to megaphones because there are quite a bit of them that are still coated in olive oil, that's kind of a bummer. Here we go. Alright, so let's see if we can destroy the chocolates at least. Well, okay, we did do some decent destruction right there. The problem with the olive under the chocolate right now is that we need to destroy the chocolates first before we destroy the olive. If not, it's just gonna give us a, a bit more headache situation. Here we go. So, yes, making sure that the green light touches uh, quite a bit of the, you know, Pokemon icons so that we get the best destruction out of everything. Alright, let's destroy the chocolates first, and of course, once again, using up all the moves, but that's fine. Alright, so not that difficult of a level, even though we do have to rely a bit on the RNG factor when it comes to Arduino skill. Alright, let's see who's the next in line. Togepi, Arduino, oh, Scorbunny is still around, so that's pretty interesting. Maybe after this appearance he would disappear then after that um sobo will take his place but yeah if you previously played you know and scorbunny was still the event pokemon uh, and he's still waiting in line yep you still have that given chance to you know befriend scorbunny okay lots of blossoms still so let's just go with blossom Right here we go. Oh, oh man! Why did all the megaphones have to face downwards? Dang, that was really unlucky. Okay. Yeah, let's get all the blossoms going. There we go. Now that the milk cartons are out, let's try to mix them up. Okay. There we go, fantastic. So all the mixables have been completed. Now we just need to destroy the strawberry crate. And we're good. Hopefully the megaphone that summoned out is in the direction. Oh come on, it was in the direction but just slightly off to the right. That was oh that is just really unlucky. <laughs> What nonsense is this? Oh well, at least we ended with 3 moves remaining, that's fine. I get my acorns. Okay, so I apologize if I don't sound very enthusiastic this episode. It's because I'm recording this episode like late in the night and I'm very exhausted from the, the rest of the day. So I'm, I'm doing my best to keep, thing, keep, keep things flowing right now because you know, the game is just tossing out one thing after another. And we do technically need to kind of rush towards the maxed amount of orders currently available in the game because we have been slacking off quite a bit <laughs> for Pokemon Cafe Mix. So, yeah. Okay, so let's see. Um, Let's just destroy the chestnuts for now. I think the chestnuts are a bit more annoying. You know, although the vegetable crates can be, you know, in a very bad placement, like the ones here, we have quite in a bad spot. Okay. Alright, maybe let's get the chestnuts going. Alright. Chestnuts are done. Pikachu's choose for the skill. Alright, definitely want to cover as many vegetable crates as possible. There we go. So this gives us a bit more space, so more icons can be, you know, abused. There we go. Okay, let's get rid of the chestnut first. Alright, now we just need to cover 
as many of the vegetable crates as possible. There we go, fantastic! Not too difficult level as long as you don't end up jamming yourself in the corner with all the bad placement of the vegetable crates that were in the olive oil. Uh, I think you should be fine, so just be cautious of that. Alright, score bunny! So as you can tell, my score bunny on this account is not level 2 or 3. Uh, well, basically, on the days that I'm not recording videos of this account, what am I doing with this account? Basically, I'm just doing the party invites, just wrecking in on the acorns, just in case. And yeah, oh, lots of marshmallows. So be careful with the marshmallows in this level. Um, definitely a very big annoyance, especially if you miss the chance to, you know, destroy them and then you're running low on moves available to, to, to do things. So you gotta be very careful with marshmallows. Okay, lots of, lots of snubble. So let's use snubble. And that's it for the marshmallows, so now we can go ahead and do the pumpkins and the chocolates. Okay, so we just need the icons to move in. And we should be fine. Okay, can we push this a bit? Yeah, there we go. So one more row of marshmallow uh, pumpkins to go, so let's just use this megaphone to pop them, pop them up and we're done! So luckily we have a megaphone that was in the correct direction, if not we might be facing some troubles. So whew, lucky us. <laughs> Alright, so I think that's the last time we will see Squall Bunny, and we should see Sobo coming into line right mm, about now I guess, maybe after Squall Bunny disappears from the restaurant itself. Uh, so for now let's just move along with whoever's in line, and satisfy their hunger. 60,000 score? Ooh. Oh boy. Okay, so this one seems a bit straightforward. It's just that we gotta destroy the fruit cans. And of course, we just gotta be careful with them olives. Very annoying stuff. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, so we, we managed to avoid destroying or rather coating some of the cans. You know, they were in a very good position to be destroyed, so it's best to not get them affected by the olives if you can. You know, no pun intended about the cans, but still. Oh, very nice placement. Oh god, I... Well, the cans were in a very nice place, it's just that I missed... I missed my alignment for the cans on the right. Oh, that's just horrible. Oh well, I guess I guess we just have to use one more skill. Well, technically, we do need the score as well, so I guess you know, it's still fine. <laughs> okay, not too difficult a level. It was a pretty fun level, just very simple and straightforward. Just be careful with the olives. Don't want to end up being trapped by the olive oil situation. Oh, we have the friendship bonus with Jigglypuff. That's fantastic. You know, it helps push us a bit faster towards leveling Jigglypuff to its max level of level 3. Okay. Oh, we're going to take note of the amount of plus O icons that's needed to destroy. Um, the only problem with this level I can see is that the, the mayonnaise bubbles are going to be a very big hindrance. And of course, you know, the honey, the honey is another thing. Okay, let's get all the plus icons. Okay, so a majority of the mayonnaise is here, so let's just destroy the mayonnaise bubbles along with the honey. There you go, so one t Wait, what? Did, did the honey just destroy the mixing canister? Uh oh, is this a bug in the game? Because now I can't mix the, the milk. Oh no! Oh wait, wait, 
how do it appear on this side now? That's strange. Okay. Whatever. <laughs> well, okay, so now we just need to destroy the honey. Oh god, I missed one. Well, uh, hopefully it doesn't spread. And we do need the plus O icon, so I guess it's still a win-win situation. There we go, fantastic. Whew. For a moment there, I thought we couldn't end the level because the honey did destroy the the metal canister for shaking. Uh, I mean the milk container, <laughs> whatever you want to call it. And then suddenly the, the metal thing appeared somewhere else, so... Whew, luckily, I guess the developers kind of foresaw that situation happening, so they did something to program the game to respawn the item. They did something that needed to clear the level, so luckily for us. Alright, the cafe is becoming a real popular place. I guess we're adding some new decorations. Nice. Ooh. Big gigantic macaron cushion. Oh, look. So I guess I guess we can get beware. Uh, did I get his name correctly? <laughs> you know, sometimes there's just too many Pokemon's nowadays that you can't remember all of them. You know, back in the days when it was just the first generation, 151 Pokemon was a challenge to remember, and now you've got like. What, 800 over Pokemon to remember? How in the world do you actually remember 800 plus Pokemon names? I myself, a first gen, can't remember all of them. You know, if I, I basically can only remember all of Gen 1 and a few from Gen 2 and a few from Gen 3. Uh, you know, because I can't really be bothered to go and memorize the entire thing because we don't have a Pokemon rap song anymore that helps us remember Pokemon names. Anyway guys, let me know in the comments down below how many Pokemon names can you remember off the bat without looking at the, um, the internet. <laughs> that would be very interesting to find out. Alright. Okay, so there are a few tomato bottles that's gonna be a hinder. Uh, but that's fine. I think the main thing here is to get the cheese destroyed first. Um, of course, getting the skill icon out as quickly as you can. Um, then of course, since we have the popcorn kernels, we read it out. So let's just use the regular uh, destruction method. Then of course, let's just use the skill of Ordino here and hopefully to destroy all the cheese well hopefully is a very big optimistic word for pokemon cafe mix especially since there's a bit of rng involved when it comes to the direction of the megaphones summoned up by these pokemons that have this kind of skill yep there we go okay so let's Let's try to level up Ordino's skill. There we go. Hopefully, you know, this does the trick and destroy everything. Well, oh, close enough. Close enough. Okay, let's push these together and there we go. Simple as that. So a bit of RNG luck, you know, managed to save one extra move. Fantastic. It's a pretty fun level. I always love these kind of unpredictable levels due to the Pokemon skill. Um, it just makes things a bit exciting. I guess it's kind of like a gambling factor, but still. Uh, yeah, I mean, RNG is technically gambling, kind of. You know, that's what gacha systems are all about. Alright, let's go. Stoutland, lots of Stoutland icons. So that's... Oh, we should have gone downwards to get the... Um... The vegetable crates touched. Oh well. Okay, so let's let's do that again. We do need eggs and vegetables. Okay, here we go. Didn't even touch the egg basket. Alright. Let's keep covering good ground. Let's 
see. Okay, I think we've technically got the score covered. Yep, so it's just the megaphone and the vegetables. The vegetables are definitely lacking. You know, the eggs aren't too bad. At least the eggs are pretty decently covered. So let's just go ahead and get more ve veggies. So we do need veggies and of course the megaphone. So let's just clear this with this last move. Simple as that. So yeah, it can be a bit problematic when like the vegetable crates end up being in a very bad spot. So definitely beware of this when it comes to this kind of stages where you have movable items that are permanently fixed once they're released. And yeah, here we go. If I'm not wrong, his name was Beware. If I'm not wrong, that is. Yay, Beware! Just that, you know, the... <laughs> you know, it, it's it's a costume bear, kind of. It looks like a Kigurumi. I wouldn't call it a Kigurumi. It looks more like a mascot bear and there's somebody inside it, but it's just that, you know, it, it's really a big bear and it's wearing like a headband cosplay item. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, this is a play on words. It's, the English name is definitely not the same as the Japanese name, so that's always a problem when it comes to translation uh, factors. Okay, oh, oh, caramel. Oh god. Okay, so the eye stop items aren't a big problem. You know, you can always just wrap things around them and then defrost them. The problem here is the caramel and the pumpkin, so that is a big issue. Okay, so let's let's do this. Hopefully the megaphone summoned by the bunch like skill gets decent. Yeah, at least we did pop one pumpkin open. So that's not too bad. Okay, all the pumpkins are out. Let's do this again. Hopefully we get some decent help with the megaphones. Okay, we did destroy one, so that's not too bad. Okay, let's get rid of the caramels first. Alright. Can we push this pumpkin out? Nope, apparently not. Okay. Let's... Come on, come on. Let's get rid of the two pumpkins here. Please don't activate the yeah, don't activate the skill. <laughs> there we go. Last pumpkin. Okay, megaphones. So we do need the score, so let's go ahead and gather as many of the icons as we can. Simple as that. And the last megaphone pop. No, I I don't want to destroy the munch like skill. Because, you know. Animation sequences takes up time. <laughs> when you're recording YouTube videos, time is a, I don't know, a big concern, especially when you want to retain audiences and they don't want to stare at the the video for too long. Look, Sabo is here. Hope our yummy offerings turn this Pokemon into a fan of our cafe. So yes, finally Sabo is in line. We're taking over Scorbunny. So yeah, there we go. Oh, Sobo is two stars away from leveling up. Wow, guess I've been a bit more active during Sobo's first event as compared to Score Bunny. Okay, ooh, this looks a bit complicated. So let's gather all the Charmander icons first. Alright, set free some of the whipped creams. Okay, so we do have a bit of an issue with like the olives. So definitely going to have a problem here with some of the items that are going to get coated. Okay, let's get all the minums. Don't want to end up, you know, calling out too many whipped creams because you're going to have not enough space to have Pokemon icons to power up skills. So that is going to be a problem later as well. Okay, let's destroy all the olives for now so we can get rid of that problematic olive oil. Uh, dilemma. Okay, let's uncoat some of the items. Okay. There we go. Alright, 
So with this, we are technically almost done. Just gotta get rid of the last whipped cream. Oh, we do need score. And we have quite a few moves remaining, so let's just go ahead and gather a whole bunch of the other icons. And of course, for the last thing, let's just destroy a whole bunch of shit with <laughs> the skill that we powered up. Hmm, okay. Not a very difficult level. Can be a bit annoying thanks to the olive oil situation, but you know, as long as you play things safe and correctly, think ahead. I mean, this game doesn't exactly have a timer, so you can spend a bit of time to think and consider your actions before you do a particular move. And here we have the gift notification. So, once again, we are at the last order for this episode. That was pretty fast. Probably the shortest recording I've done for a Pokemon Cafe mix. Interesting. <laughs> Usually each 10, um, 10 order episodes uh, ended up becoming about, around uh, like a half an hour range or so. So this is probably one of the fastest recordings I've ever done considering that I, I kind of am very tired and I do want to go to bed. <laughs> so yeah. So once again, thank you guys so much for all the support. You know, for Pokemon Cafe Mix. Um, I know it's it's not a, a very popular game, you know, considering that how many people are actually playing or even doing videos on this game. Um, but you know, I'm a Pokemon fan. I do like the puzzle games. I like to keep my brain active. You know, considering that I'm getting older. You know, I definitely want to be a bit more active, don't want to have your brain, uh, brain cells, you know, die out on you and you can't even remember simple things. So yes, I think being a gamer in this modern age has its plus points as well. So, kudos, kudos to all the, you know, first generation gamers out there, I guess. Uh, you can tell that I'm talking nonsense right now because I'm very tired. Oh god. Oh god, can I push the can I push the caramels together? Yes! Not not caramels, corn kernels. You see, my brain is not functioning as as how I want it to be when I'm fully awake. I am starting to close my eyes. Oh god, why it's a very bad idea to record a video when it's this late at night and You've been doing a lot of physical exercise and work, and uh, at least, at least it's come to an end. Anyway guys, thank you guys so much for joining me on a very sleepy, exhausted, and nonsensical, tiring Pokemon Cafe Mix video. If you guys survived through the video listening to all my jibber jabber, <laughs> uh, let me know in the comments down below, or in, you know, right in the comments, you know, like, why in the world are you talking about <laughs> <laughs> at least it shows that you guys watched all the way to the end and of course leave a like to this video if you enjoy all the nonsense i've been you know gushing out from my half awake brain <laughs> while trying to solve puzzles uh with my um tired attention span right now anyway guys thank you guys so much once again if you guys are new to the channel subscribe to the channel for more nonsensical videos just like this one and of course if if it does help you out um you know clearing some of the orders that you have a hard time clearing you know because you you, you end up using all your acons for um you know uh impulsive re reactions uh actions or uh, decisions you know, just trying to clear a level that's frustrated you. You know, uh, just leave a like on this video and share the video if you want your friends to, you know, have a easier time clearing the game as well. And until then, guys, I'll see you guys in the next one. For now, I'm gonna lay on my bed and take a rest. I'll edit the video tomorrow morning. So by the time you watch this, it's definitely a brand new day where I'm a bit more refreshed to do editing. <laughs> Bye. Bye! Oh, I really need to go and lie down and sleep.